How's it going, everybody? And welcome to a special episode of East Book 2. This episode, as you can hear, I have reverted the music to the PC-88 original soundtrack for an episode. So we're going to enjoy listening to this for a little while. And next episode, we will go back to the original soundtrack. So, we need to go back to the entrance of Burn Bless. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to go ahead and use our return magic. I got the wrong magic. Fire. Oh, because I'm in town. Oh, I've been using my herbs. Well, that was a waste. Now the colony of lava is on the map. We're going to return to the answer. quiet while I do my business here so you can hear the new music. Even the old PC-88 music for these games still just sounds amazing. It's aged so well. There's no real reason to go into the mine here, I just want to let you hear the music.
again, sorry I'm being so quiet this episode, but I'm trying to let you get an opportunity to hear some of this original music from the game. definitely felt somebody watching us from around here. So, let's see what we can find. As the doll listened closely, he could hear faint sounds of footsteps in the distance. The ruse nest. Hmm, apparently we can't talk to him as we are. We were driven out of our homes by warmongering demons and forced to hide here. Ours is a peace-loving clan. Peace, love, sleep, food, and information. Several days ago, I saw a human boy being led to the poison-filled passage by demons. I hope he's okay. Can't say I've seen you around before. Your name's Adal? Not here it isn't. Here your name is Adoru. It's the law. Humans always think that we're demons, but we're so not. We were originally thought of as sacred animals. Now people just see fur and think demon. These are very stylish gauntlets, are they not? I made them myself. They help me remain calm, and calmness is a most gentlemanly quality, don't you think? Demons and humans alike consider me a gentleman worthy of their greatest aspirations, as I'm sure do you. Yes, I'll rest. Picked up a rotifert. And a rota leaf. Hey, can I let you in on a little secret? You know my brother, Broco? He has, like, the worst memory. If he ever does something bad, he forgets all about it within half a day. Nothing new from the statue. Let's go ahead and change back. And start killing. This time we'll take this path.
just to see if there's any treasures we missed. Acquired iron ore. We can make some money off that. Magma bridge. These things are almost impossible to kill. Okay. That got close. One of you at a time. We got to line them up. this cave. The air is thick with poison gas. It's much too dangerous to go any further. I think we're safe enough for now. Let's go ahead and top our health off with our cape. Oh, shoot! Don't be able to get to me. They're all dead. Healing, healing. things are giving some decent experience. Okay, and we're back to here. So let's make our way back to the colony of lava. Ooh. Stealth monster again. One monster type is just so good at hiding in the shadows in here. Back among these scorpion type monsters. Just about back. Boom! That could have been bad. Gotta be careful. As you've seen, one careless step can easily lead to your death. This is a very unforgiving game. You know what? I'm gonna try something. I've heard that Roos aren't actually demons at all. But I mean, they're inhuman creatures with human-like intelligence. Isn't that a demon? Huh. Ah, Roo! How unusual! Good day to you. 
Wait, don't tell me. Man, I'm so bad at remembering names. Chrono, was it? <laughs> demon? <laughs> I spit in the face of demon. Spit, spit. Yeah, save me. I'm dead, see? Dead, so don't talk to me. Aru? I suppose the demon's made a slave of you, too. You've come to check on me, I suppose. As promised, I haven't let a doll cross. Tell the man in the black cloak that I'm doing what he said, so he'd better give me my son back. A doll's just going to keep coming back, though. You know that, right? He'll be much harder to turn away, too, each time he does, so whatever you're doing, do it fast. It all told the bridge guard he knew about his son being kidnapped by the man in black. Wait, so that Rue was... I see. So you know everything, then. It all started two days ago. T tarf Dad! Red-haired swordsman by the name of a doll will be coming through here soon. Do not let him cross the bridge. Just do as you're told, and your son will be returned unharmed. Tarf! So Tarf was taken, and those were the instructions for ensuring his safe return. You must have noticed how the villagers have been regarding you, no? It's because they all know what happened. I bear you no grudge, but I'll do what I must to ensure Tarf's safety. Adal promised to rescue the bridge guard's son. You must be joking. You're up against demons here. Then again, you're the one they're trying to stop, so clearly you are a threat to them. I guess, maybe... You're not joking. Okay, if that's the way you wish it to be, who am I to object? I'll leave Tarf's rescue in your hands. I wish I could help you, but if they were acting against them, I, they'll hurt Tarf. And possibly the village. Here, take these in my place. They should prove quite useful. Received Whisper Earrings. They're called Whisper Earrings. They've been passed down in my family for generations. When you're wearing them, you'll be able to hear even the faintest of sounds. My son must be imprisoned somewhere around here. Listen through those, and you might be able to hear him. There they are. Now, before we do that... go back to Lance Village. We have the 6,000 gold we need. Let's get our large shield. Welcome! I have some fine swords on there. Hey now, is that the unmistakable glint of iron ore I see, or do my eyes deceive me? I bet Laszlo could really use some of that iron for smithing. What do you say? Would you sell it to me? Works for me. Buy shield. Large shield. And we're done. And with that, we have a complete third tier set of armor. Now let's use our return magic again and return to the colony of lava. Actually, before I do that, let's go back to these villas again. And we'll go rest up in Noah's again. Really. Yeah. 
Okay. So, this seems once again to be a good place to go ahead and leave this episode off. As always, I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you might have in the comments below. And when we return to the magical land of East next episode, we will begin looking for the Bridgemaster's son. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.